Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Music Show. I'm Ray Brazelton, your host. And today we have for you Energized Productions. This is the group that we're going to feature for you. It's a Christian group. Uh, there's a, actually a couple, a married couple on it, plus another couple. Uh, and there are two women and, and two men. The men uh, play guitar and the women play percussion. And they all four sing in a very nice harmonizing way. They write their own music. Uh, they're original songs, and they're very, uh, very meaningful, very live and fun songs. I think you'll really enjoy uh, this group very, very much. Uh, so you want to stay tuned for that, among all our other, uh, all the other things we do on the show, like, of course, our interview of the group, and uh, we have a showcase uh, that. And by the way, that will be done by one of the people in the group. Uh, Charlie Smith will do it on uh, antique microphones, microphones uh, that uh, were used back in the, probably the 40s and 50s and uh, used by people like Elvis Presley and uh, just uh, many great artists like that. And uh, he'll have the microphones to show you here and give you a lot of interesting information about those old microphones that you'll enjoy. And uh, then of course we have you know our uh, round table and uh, let's not forget of course uh, Uncle Nick, uh, the Uncle Nick's uh, corner uh, uh, that uh, we'll be uh, playing today, uh, in spite of the fact we d we did lose Uncle Nick, he passed away, but uh, we'll have we still have him with us in spirit, and uh, you'll enjoy his uh, regular segments like he uh, usually does. So, uh, along with everything else, uh, this show uh, ought to be very, very uh, interesting and fun to to watch. So, stay tuned for a for a very good show. See you in a little bit now. Stay tuned. Hi. We're Energized Productions, and we're a Christian band from Rochester, New York. We really enjoy our music, and we're believing that we're going to be able to bless you abundantly with our music. And it's a real honor to be on the music show. This song that we're going to do is called The Household of God is a Good Thing. And after you hear the lyrics to this song, you'll know why. Oh, 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 oh,
better than silver And the game there of the fine gold We trust in the Lord with all of our hearts And he now that you are an understanding In all of our ways we acknowledge him He directs our best and we remain standing As we continue to stand in the promised land when we prevail, it's no surprise. La 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 Everybody, I'm Ray Brazelton, your host, and we are here at the interview segment of the show with Energize Productions, and uh, so glad to have you all with us today. I think I'll let them introduce uh, themselves. Uh, you want to start, Charlie? Sure. And tell us what instrument you play, and you know the area you're from, or anything like that. Well, I'm Charlie Smith, and I do play the acoustic guitar, and um, my wonderful wife Rita. And we've been singing together now for since oh, we've been maybe. married. Huh? Yeah, Over eight we're, years. Getting, we're going on nine years yeah. there, dear. Yeah, we are. And wow. you sing uh, lead and harmony, a little lead bit. and harmony, yes. percussion and percussion, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my name's Andrea Bryant, and I'm the newest member of the group. And uh, I sing background and some lead. And I uh, like to have a lot of fun. Yeah, I see <laughs> that. <laughs> I like to talk in, in the middle of. Uh, uh, productions and things, right? <laughs> In the middle of singing. <laughs> no, she's really good. Uh, the harmony is wonderful. And Kurt, talk about harmony. Introduce yourself. I'm Kurt Rowland, and uh, I do harmonies, and sometimes I hit the right chords every now and then. And yeah. guitar, play lead sometimes. And uh, uh, just I live in Macedon, New York. Does anybody know where that is? Yeah, it's in New York. So it's in New York. <laughs> He's a three one fiver. Yeah, Kurt. Kurt. Yeah, I'm probably the yeah. uh, oldest one of the group. Oh, I wasn't going to say that. Ah, huh. but you could say that. <laughs> oldest, but, but I didn't been start it. The longest. <laughs> but but Kurt Kurt uh, also has been on the show before. Yes, I mean, wow. do you remember the group it was? Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I do. What was the name of the group? <laughs> <laughs> See, it was Wingman. That's right. And that's right. Uh, and I think I played with you. Yeah. That's right. But we're so glad to have you uh, on the show, all of you. And it's a, it's a pleasure. We've had a lot of fun up to now. We've got a little more, more to do. But mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I guess i got a few questions for you. Uh, uh, I guess, how did you meet? Uh, how did you get together? And maybe uh, you want to speak for them this time? Sure. sure. Yeah. Uh, we actually uh, uh, go to a, um, it was, uh, we were practicing and it was for a ministry function, I believe, and uh, we started writing some songs and what have you, and uh, we just got together because we know of each other in our fellowship, and we started playing for the fellowship, some of our songs, and it was, uh, it just kind of went from there. And how, how long ago would you, how long have you been playing together? It's probably seven, eight. You've probably been with seven, us seven. Seven, we seven started years. And, yeah. Seven years. Mm -hmm. yes. It goes so, fast. Yes, it, it does. does. Well, it's like the, yesterday. The, what I enjoyed about the group a lot was their harmonizing, and, and uh, look forward to hearing some more. And, yeah. uh, but uh, you guys blend real well together. Well, thank but you. also what amazes me is your uh, songwriting, but uh, that's something we're going to get into <laughs> during the round table, okay? Mm -hmm. We'll talk a little bit about that because it amazes me how you can guys can put this together. Do you all, just real quick, do you all participate in that or just? Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, we all do. Oh, okay, yes, we'll talk about yeah. that later. Mm -hmm. That'll be neat. Mm -hmm. And um, also, um, uh, let's see, another question. What kind of um, music you play? Of course, it's Christian music. But uh, what style? I mean, you, it almost seems like they have um, a couple different styles of it. That, I mean, that you know, music, what, what would you say style-wise? That's a great question because um, I really believe that uh, we try to, well, we want to have fun with our music. Yeah. So we try to be um, a little bit rocky, but we like to be <laughs> mellow too. Mm -hmm. So um, now to categorize that, I would just have to yeah. say it's, it's good time. Yeah. Music and um, the biggest 
uh, thing to us is that we want the message of God to get out to people. That's the number one thing. Number one. And it uh, adds so much to a fellowship, doesn't it? It really yeah. does. Oh, boy, mm -hmm. I tell you. Um, so that was my next question, too, was what kind of venues do you play? Uh, of course, you say you play at the fellowships that you go to. Yeah. And we'll talk more about that later, yeah. too, so where, where you uh, play. But, but are there other places other than your fellowships that you have played Oh, yeah. At? We've played at coffee houses. It's kind of how we got started. We started going to a little coffee house, open mic thing, and, you know, started playing some things. And then, as Kurt said, we, we, then we started playing in fellowship. It grew from there. We've done our own coffee houses. Mm -hmm. um, we were in a talent show and got a little ways in that. We played for that. Didn't we've, you do we a actually picnic somewhere? somewhere? Yeah, oh, we, yeah, we did picnic in the park. Oh, yeah. It was definitely <laughs> was the music show. I bet you, for right. sure. It was a fantastic and, uh, we time. We had a good time with that. With other we people sure that were did. very talented. There, oh, yes. yes. Oh, I, some um, very wonderful talent, yes. Oh, well, so now you also have a CD that uh, actually I have right here and I'm gonna let somebody else take it and hold it for the camera. You wanna take that home? Just kind of hold sure. it right, like that yeah mm -hmm. and then he can get a kind of a maybe you can get a close-up on it maybe not I'm not sure oh, there we go mm -hmm. see it's funny how you have to turn it there but uh, the name of that uh, CD is can you tell us? Yes Energized Productions mm -hmm. and it is music to energize the inner man and the inner soul Okay. Yeah, yes. you got some soul there, fella. <laughs> I, that's right. And uh, yeah, I've listened to it, of course, several times. And I have mine. You gave me my own copy. They gave me my own copy. Because you're special. And because special, I'm special. Right. Yeah, <laughs> sure. But in any case, I uh, uh, love the music. It's uh, very, very nice. But boy, in person, it is unbelievable. So, you know, you. Uh, do, what's a, uh, if somebody wanted to contact you either for a job or for to get your CD, uh, where would the, can somebody give us a contact number, web uh, phone number, anything you got? Um, bigcartel.com. You can buy the CD through that website. Um, you can also uh, go on to sonicbids.com and you can read a bio. And there are some of our song samples on there as well. Mm -hmm. um, but to actually purchase the CD, you would probably go on Big Cartel. And you just okay. put in Energized Productions, and mm -hmm. we'll come up, and we have some information about our group on there, and um, more information about us and what we do together and things like that. Right. So Now, mm -hmm. the website, do you have a website? Is that... The, what is the website? Do you have a website? Well, yeah. it's not a website per se, but no. it is it is a site that allows us to sell the CD okay. right. so that you can purchase that. Okay. And it's and I think it's usually through PayPal. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And on Sonic Bids, they can actually hear samples of some of our songs. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you got to all get in there and listen to their music. Uh, yeah. uh, well, okay. Uh, let's get back to work, guys. <laughs> we got <laughs> some more show to do We're today. Ready. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the interview and... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll be right back to you now. Don't go too far. Bye. Hi, this song is called Make a Difference. And the reason we wrote this song is because everybody's life can make a difference in someone else's life. And we hope it makes a difference in yours. Three, four. When it's time you will know, when it's time you will show it. Move ahead and make a fresh start, do everything with your heart. Every time you move, you simply got to group from your heart. And every choice you make, be sure to weigh it from the start. Because all that you think and all that you do makes a difference. Which way will you go toward the dark or toward the light? Do what's wrong or do What's right, it makes a difference. When it's time you will know, when it's time you will show it, go ahead and make a fresh start. What's good and what's best It might be hard to change your life From things you used to like But when you do You'll know that it's right in your heart Deep in your heart Put down the old Pick up the new Head toward the light Find the real you It makes a difference When it's time you will know When it's time you will show it Back then 
you could see it now you don't the old you fades day by day so the new you can grow the power of love deep in your heart builds believing motivates your thinking so move ahead put off the past you know this joy will truly last making a difference when it's time you will know when it's time you will show Hi everybody, uh, Ray Brazelton back to you now. I uh, have with you on the show today for the uh, Instrument Showcase, uh, Charlie Smith. Hello, Charlie. It's it's a pleasure, Ray. Oh, I'm glad you could be with us and the whole uh, group and everybody is uh, entertained as well. Oh yes, but, uh, fine team. But we want you to entertain us with some knowledge. We, uh, wow. We I uh, was very pleasantly surprised to hear that you. You uh, knew a lot about old microphones mm. and uh, was a collector of old microphones and we never had anything on old microphones on the show before so I said, aha, got somebody for the Instrument Showcase. So, uh, Charlie, what can you tell us uh, uh, about these? I know um, that these these are microphones that I can remember probably when I was five or years old or something, some of these microphones. Well, these, let's not reveal our age that. down here, Ray. <laughs> we don't go that far, but... <laughs> But but I know that that there's different types of these old microphones, including I can't see this behind, but this mm -hmm. one here. And why, you know, can you tell us a little bit about each one? Uh, well, on the... I know a lot of people like to collect guitars or they'd like to collect sound equipment. Um, but one thing I've always loved because I've loved to sing, and I've loved announcing. I've done some radio work. Um, I really have been attracted to the microphone. And the microphone is really an instrument. It really is. Because the way you sing into it, um, the amount of volume that you put into it, it really is an instrument. And, it, and, it, and it's, it, a, a good artist knows how to sing into a microphone. These microphones were very unique in their day and time, and they still are, because they had a very, very special sound that, what, that the modern microphones actually had to take some time to develop. It had very warm sound. If you remember anything about old-time radio, of course, the quality of the radio made a big difference, but a lot of your microphone. And maybe sometimes you may think, well, those radio shows, you know, they're, they're pretty awful sounding, really. They don't sound like anything like modern-day recording. Well, that's not the fault of the microphone. It's the fault of the tape machines that they had back then. That has improved dramatically. But the microphone itself was doing what it was supposed to do. These are very wonderful because these were radio, television, and recording studio microphones in their day and time and as you can see NBC of course this is actually a reproduction these are very hard to find so uh, because I couldn't find it I just went ahead and made one you know? it, I think that's uh, fabulous that yeah. you could make this yourself it's made uh, to scale mm -hmm. um, it, 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 it has it's made of plastic and wood and some metal in here but it's it's made to the exact scale my favorites are the are the, the capsule or the pill shape RCA, which came out in the early 50s for more economics because these were such a large microphone. You talk about hiding behind a microphone, <laughs> you know, you could. You could literally they, they, hide yeah. behind one of these things. You could. So they were rather large. And as we learned more about microphone technology through, through time, we learned that we didn't need to have so much space around, you know, the actual filters inside that as, as technology improved in microphones, we didn't need such big, canny type things. And this one is, is, is really more of the Americana style. This was not really a high quality microphone. Probably high schools um, would have used these type of microphones, but they're, they're, they're rather iconic in, in their design. Um, the, this is an American microphone, which was a very, very popular microphone company back in the 40s and the 50s. And RCA, of course, these, that's what these two are. They, RCA, I mean, they held the market on microphones. The other one that's probably more familiar to a lot of people today is the Shure. This particular Shure 
is called the Shure 55 because this was their first edition of this particular microphone. You can see it's very large. The ones that came on later on, they thinned them out so that they were a lot thinner. And there again, musicians' faces weren't being hid by the microphone so that they, they just came out with a way to make them a little bit more economical and so that people could see you when you're singing. This, this is a very high quality microphone. It's often called the Elvis mic because many pictures of Elvis Presley are him holding a Shure 55. How about very, Frank, very popular. Frank Sinatra? And Frank Sinatra, you know, all the great stars. It was, it was just a wonderful thing. The other thing I like to do is collect um, from magazines, old magazines, is some of the old radio ads of these, or uh, um, radio magazine ads of some of these old microphones. And as you can see, you've got the Shure 55 on here. This was probably about 1953. You've got your Shure 55 up at the top. This was a very popular microphone down here, as well as this one over here. I remember these very much like in high school dances and the disc jockeys used to have those because they were economical, easy to carry. They weren't as heavy as the 55. And as I've gone through magazines, I've found different pictures of some of the mics that I have and that I would like to have. And I think I have in here, um, well, these are some pictures of the of what the NBC microphone here, which is called the um, uh, the four the it's, it's it's referred to as the 44 because that was the model number of that particular microphone, and you can see some of the people back in the radio days that used that it was a very very popular um, a high velocity microphone. The quality was was very good, as I said before, and I think I had one other picture here I wanted to show you. This is. This is the American microphone. On this page here, this is this one right here. These are, once again, old ads from magazines. And there you go, the American microphone, the D9A, unidirectional microphone. The very unique thing about these microphones, too, is you could have someone on either end speaking into them. And that was part of what radio was all about, was well, that to would have be good. people surrounding well, yeah, right, yeah. and and for singers, two singers uh, using one microphone, absolutely, That'd be absolutely, very good. I would think. Um, and this other one, this is this is getting back to Elvis Presley. This is was also his popular mic here. The RCA seventy seven was very popular, and you can see he's using it in the studio, and he's using it there in one of his concerts. Very very good quality microphone. So your old recordings were more really because of tape problems, not because of microphones. Microphones were very good. These are very unique too because all of your settings are on the back of these things. You just take a screwdriver and you can set the different intonations that you need on these microphones. On this particular one, there's even one at the bottom here where you take a screwdriver and you can make adjustments here and give you the different velocities of your sound also. So they were very technical in their day and time. Well, I was going to say, to be able to do that, with, uh, are there microphones, I, I don't recall, microphones that you can really set on the mic, the intonations, um, uh, like It this was one. more so back then because um, engineering back then was a lot more um, particular about voices, and they wanted to make sure that they captured your voice. If you had a high voice or a low voice, mm -hmm. they wanted to make sure that they captured everything as perfectly as possible, and they did very well. See, those are things that we don't know, or I didn't know. Uh, the technology back then was pretty good. Uh, for, it really when was. When it came to, to this, because you said they had a, a really warm, some of these had a very warm sound. A to very them. unique sound, yes. And even to this day, um, um, this is one of my favorite microphones because of the warm sound that it, that it gives. But they've done very well in modern technology today. Yeah. They have definitely matched it very, yeah. very well. Yeah. Maybe not quite as adjustable, though, are they? I don't think, I think more of that is done now With in the, the engineering room. Engineering room, mm -hmm. right, right. Yeah. Well, very, very interesting. I did a whole lot more questions for you, but you covered so much of the, uh, already of, of what I was going to ask you. Uh, the one thing I know is that you did a little bit of radio uh, commercials and, and radio work yourself. Mm -hmm. And in the future, I, I just thought I'd bring that up uh, yeah. as a, another fact of uh, your interest in microphones and the fact that you've been on the microphone, behind the microphone yourself mm -hmm. quite a bit. Yes. Uh, did you ever, you probably use more modern microphones than anything like this. I right? never used anything like this, right. but yeah. uh, yes, I've done some radio commercials, uh, mainly when I was in the state of Maine is when I did a lot of that. 
Um, I had an opportunity to do a radio show on WCMF last year, I think it was. I think it was, no, it was 2010. So I had an opportunity to do an afternoon show there, which was really nice. Broadcasting is fun. It's always yeah. been one of my hobbies. Um, I like br uh, production more so. I think what the, the microphone reminds me of is the production work, the editing work. Um, I would be more like the person that would work behind the scenes mm -hmm. to edit the commercial, to put in the effects, to put in the music, the voiceovers and whatever. Boy, you are one talented man here. Things we learn about people on the music show. You get it nowhere else but exclusively here at the music show. So <laughs> thank you so well, much thank you for, for the uh, doing the, uh, the instrument showcase for us. Sure. We really appreciate it. and. Uh, we uh, love your your group, and uh, I thank guess, you very much. I guess it's time to get back to uh, our music, and the rest of our show. So thank you Absolutely. for joining us. Thank and, you. Uh, stay tuned. This is a fun song. It's called "God Is Gracious," and He is gracious in our lives each and every day. God, you are gracious to my life. You give me everything. God, you are gracious to my life. You give me all I need. Yesterday was such a sweet day. I walked in your way and found joy. Yesterday was such a blessed day. I'll treasure its gift. Treasure its gift in my heart, oh yeah. God, you are gracious to my life. You give me everything. God, you are gracious to my life. You give me all I need. Today we'll gather with people we love, share time with friends and family. With lots of laughter and peace. Making memories, making memories, oh yeah. God, you are gracious to my life. You give me everything. God, you are gracious to my life. You give me all I need. Tomorrow there are many more goals, many more lives to touch. Live each moment walking in love Because of you, because of you We have strength within God, you are gracious to our lives You give us everything God, you are gracious to our lives You give us all we need You give us all we need you give us all we need. Hi, uh, welcome to Uncle Nick's Corner. I'm Nick Rita. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about how to bring scales into your repertoire as far as your practice what repertoire is concerned. Uh, before we went over some scale forms and major scale forms, if you remember real quickly, there are th four that you use most of the time. The That was in the key of G and I call that the E2 because I use the second finger on the E string as a root. Then in the key of A in the same position, I have the uh, e4, which is the key of A, um, I'm starting with the uh, fourth finger on the E string. If I start with the second finger on the A string, the 2A, we have the key of C, that's the C scale. And if I start with my pinky on the A, the, the 4A, I have the key of D. And I could put those together in any way I'd like to, uh, bringing them up the neck. I could play, for instance, the key of C here, the 
the key of C way up here, then up here. So I can bring it up and down the neck and I can expand my knowledge of the neck. Uh, something, uh, a way of doing that, if you remember doing the pentatonic scales when we did the five forms of the pentatonic scale, this is similar where we can uh, hook the scales together up the fingerboard. But what I'd like to do today is not to talk too much about moving over the fingerboard, but how to use those scales uh, to practice. Now, when we practice scales, we get two things out of it. First of all, our technique increases tremendously. As, as, as I go through the, that, uh, today I'm using a pick, and I can use down picks. I can use alternate, so I'm working on the pick. I'm using the right fingering, second finger, uh, wherever the second finger is. The one below that, I'm using the first finger. The fret above that, I'm using the third. The fret above that, I'm using the fourth. So we're uh, nurturing that good four finger position. So those are just two things, plus knowing that uh, these major scales fit against different chords and how we can use them to improvise so that it's, it's, there's a, a multitude of reasons we would, should uh, study scales. By the way, a lot of times in today's uh, uh, pedagogy, the, uh, today's teaching, scales are kind of like uh, set to the side. But to get on the way, we can play them. <laughs> And starting on the second tone, third tone, come on fingers, third, uh, fourth tone, fifth tone, sixth tone, Seventh tone, and the back to the original scale. Those were the modes of the scale going from one tone, an octave higher, starting on each successive note. Uh, tone of the scale, starting on the first tone getting the Ionian, second tone Dorian, third tone Phrygian, fourth tone is Elydian, and these may sound like they're Greek to you, and they are because they're from the Greek, but what they are, they're defining the notes from one uh, tone to an octave higher within the scale. Another thing to do, rather than going just scale-wise, let's do in fourths, I'm sorry, thirds. <laughs> That was doing the scale in, in thirds. Another way is to break them up into arpeggios. C arpeggio, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, uh, A minor, B diminished, and then back. So you can develop your own exercises. Now, you can write them all out. That's, that, that's, that's one thing you could do, or you can get a book where there are scales and just follow reading. In that case, if you write it out or you get a book and you're following the reading, it helps your reading also. But what we're looking for now is just to infuse them into ourselves. So sometimes it's even uh, counterproductive to write them out or to read them. You want to also do enough work on the scales just from the top of your head and work in different keys. Try all 12 keys. If you need any more information on this, I have a ton of information. Uh, the scale forms I have, you could, uh, if you uh, get in touch with us, I can send you charts with the scale forms on. And uh, also, if you email us, we can, uh, I can give you other hints uh, or, uh, or address things specifically uh, for you. Uh, so I would encourage you to, to get in touch with us. In the meantime, if there's anything else you would like to cover, like me to cover on this uh, Uncle Nick's Corner, feel free to get in touch with us. Till next time, uh, we'll be seeing you. Keep picking. <laughs>
Okay. Hey, I know. Let's sing about it. I'm with you. Well, it's God's great desire that prosper be in hell. Up till freely gives us access to his wealth. Like the love and household, the ones who pray for you. You can muster up your, your strength now. Help see you through. Hey, hey. What a beautiful day. Well, any time you put God's word on, it'll bring you up. You can say, you can say, what a beautiful day. Hey. Well, I woke up this morning, he held a brand new day. Things that used to trouble me have up and fled away. I've got God in Christ for me, there's nothing we can do. Together with the household, we will keep our minds renewed. Hey, hey, what a beautiful day. But any time you put God's word on, it'll bring you up. You can say, you can say, what a beautiful day. Everybody and uh, welcome to the round table. Uh, we've had a real good group here today, and I uh, hope you've enjoyed them. And uh, this is uh, called Energized Productions, and I believe we're uh, uh, Christian music uh, uh, band. That group, is correct. Right? Absolutely. And uh, I'm going to let them introduce them themselves to you uh, once again. Uh, you wanna, and maybe what instrument you play and uh, what town you come from. Kurt Rowland, I uh, play the uh, electric guitar, I uh, do some harmonies background, and I'm from Macedon, New York. My name is Andrea Bryant, and I'm from Rochester, New York, and uh, I do background singing and some lead, and dusting off my uh, guitar to do some songwriting, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My name is Rita Smith, and I'm from Rochester, New York, also. I do lead in harmony vocals and percussion. And I'm Rita's husband. My name is Charlie Smith, and I too am from Rochester, New York. I play guitar and um, some harmony and some lead vocals and write music with my wife. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one thing. Uh, we've had the enjoyment of listening to you in, in this show. But one of the things I, I did want to ask you, I have quite a few questions for you, but uh, on your music writing, because mm -hmm. uh, we haven't heard anything about that, we didn't talk about it during the interview or, or at all, but you know, there, you said that there was kind of a combined effort, a little bit of a combined effort in writing this music. And uh, what I want to know is how do you do that? <laughs> How does four people, do you do it like separately and then come together? We did discuss this with another group one time before. Mm -hmm. And I know they said sometimes they would be, go to different rooms and then come together. But how do you do well, that? Well, speaking from my wife and I, um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at putting musical arrangements together, but I'm not very good with lyrics. Mm -hmm. And when we first met, the unique part about our relationship was she was very, very capable of writing lyrics. Mm -hmm. Well, if I can see lyrics on paper, I can put music to it. Ah. But I can't just put words to music. Okay. And for me, like I, I could just be doing something somewhere and a song comes to mind and I'll just start singing and the words are there and I just have to make sure I write them down. Right. And I hear how I want the song to be, but then I have to remember. So when I tell Charlie, I says, honey, I wrote another song and this is how I hear it in my head. And then he takes it from there and he turns into something awesome. So, <laughs> so we're a pretty good team that I do. Yeah, the that's wonderful to be able to have that. It's like my wife and I work pretty good together with our business. And uh, she uh, tells me what to do and I do it. <laughs> and, uh, so it works the same kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> well, but in all honesty, she has the book working part of the business, um, and she's the one behind the scenes, even here on the music show. She's the one that does a lot of the uh, helping us out and making sure everything's done properly and reminds us and uh, fixes my shirt. I'm and sure she, You know, she's all that <laughs> stuff, and, and I just do the entertainment. And the, mm -hmm. so, so it's nice to have that kind of a husband. Uh, yeah, like, it is. Uh, Work. It really is. And uh, but now you two also chime in with with your parts of the music here and there. Probably, how do you how do you? Do well, that? for for me, um, like the speaking the truth in love, that song is really from Ephesians uh, four. And but one day I was up doing some work and like Rita, the the music just came to my head. So at that time I had a, a karaoke machine, so I hurried and went over to it and sang the melody so I wouldn't forget it. Yeah. And then um, I brought it to a friend. Actually, I, I, I uh, sang it over the um, computer. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. sent him a web, uh, um, I forget what, what file you call that. The, there's a file that you can send. Oh, um, a wave file. A wave, wave file, file, that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is, this is how, I don't know how to play that, but can you play it? Mm -hmm. You were saying so, it to him like? No, actually, uh, remember Wingman? Oh, yes, that, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Court Dunham. Court, yeah. Yeah, I sent him a wave file over, <coughs> uh, over the internet, and then he put the chords together. Mm. And so, and that's how we got that. Yeah. Uh, and so now I, I enjoy um, just songs that encourage people, mm -hmm. build them up share, you know, fun things too. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm working on a song now that's uh, Share Your Love for God Today. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty much just show, show how you are. Show, show your love for God today just by opening a door for somebody. That's or, you know, even or something as simple as that is. Yeah. Uh, then you would, uh, do you share that with this group, this, those kind of What songs? I do is I bring, I, after I have it all together, mm -hmm. and then I, and I come and I'll say, well, I got a song I got, you know, mm -hmm. and then we'll, you know, I'll play it for her, and it's like, okay, we'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, she yeah. does this quite a bit lately. She I a song. She's been writing quite a few lately, and that's what's, yeah. that's what's really neat about our group is like, because that's what Charlie yeah. and I do, too. We play around with it for a while, yeah. and, well, now we've gotten a little better because I don't have to try to remember. He's got a little recorder, so I can sing into it, oh, and so we know fun. how it's going to sound. But then when we pretty much figure out how we want it to go, then, okay, you guys, we got something. What do you think about this? What do you think about that? And mm -hmm. and then we just kind of work on it together from there and oh, put yeah. the harmonies and in And everyone's there and very adaptable and seems really. to fall right into it yeah. with ease. Yeah. 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 And Kurt, your, your, uh, your influence? I, uh, <clears throat> it, it was really interesting because uh, the, mm -hmm. I was actually uh, ill uh, back in uh, 97, I or uh, 2007. And what happened is, I was sitting around the house uh, getting better and I had the household praying for me and I said, how can I give back to the household? So I finally came up with this song and you heard it uh, tonight, mm -hmm. Beautiful Day. And I said, you know, I know how I can do it. I'll write a song. Mm -hmm. So it, this was actually the first song that I actually wrote and um, mm -hmm. finished. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I used to start songs and then I just, oh, that's nice, <laughs> throw them away. But, uh, and I came up with that and uh, came up with the instrumental. I, I, like, I like to come up with the instrumentals first and then I'll mm. fit it in. And, I've, and that, I that's how I do it too. I don't oh, like doing I'm the, the same, same, same thing yeah. twice, so I'll pick a different subject. And a lot of subjects are from just uh, life experiences. Sure. Yeah. 
<clears throat> and um, there's a lot of diversity here. Yeah. I, yeah, I see a lot of diversity, yeah. and that's what makes you so good. And uh, I tell you, your harmony is is fantastic too. I, I really ap appreciate the four. Uh, it's almost like it's four part harmony. I don't suppose it is of all four parts. Not like a barber shop quartet, or is it sometimes? <laughs> well, I don't know, but but I don't it's, know if it's that perfect. But, <laughs> but but it's but it's very very nice. You, see, you blend together well. Yeah. Um, Gee, I uh, really got just uh, going on this writing because I wanted to hear about it mm -hmm. and so badly. But uh, we want to mention that uh, this group is a Christian group and uh, that uh, they were formed, uh, what, about four, four to seven years ago? Mm -hmm. um, eight years eight, ago for eight. us, and then seven, yeah. and then yeah. it's like, what, okay. going on three or yeah, two, about three about years? Three years. And this kind of came out of. Uh, uh, fellowshipping uh, yes. groups, yep. uh, mm -hmm. Christian fellowshipping groups, and uh, just uh, and, and just your love for music. Have any of you had experience uh, in music from years ago, like in the 1960s? Were you all in rock and roll bands? Oh, you, sure. you two yeah. were go-go girls. <laughs> I and, was just uh, born then, Ray. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forget. I forget how old I am. <laughs> I might have been singing Goo Goo Gaga, but <laughs> oh. I used to be in a in a in a band uh -huh. back in Detroit because I'm originally from from Detroit, Motown. And you know, if you're from Motown, some you got to have your foot somewhere in, in music. Uh, but um, God is so great because I got you know married. You have kids, and you kind of yep. put that on the side. But now they're all grown, and sure. I have grandchildren, yep. and. Now I get to go back and, and learn Isn't that to play. Wonderful? Yeah, Some of the awesome. best times so of your life. So you get it back. And it is a good question for getting back, like you said. You get yeah. get back to uh, yeah. to uh, what you used to do. Yeah, a lot of uh, the, the music you do, like you said, is giving back, and mm -hmm. uh, the, the way you write it uh, is it's it's uh, actually. Uh, uh, is it uh, kind of worship music also? Well, or? we really do. We want to, mm -hmm. the purpose is to inspire people to mm -hmm. to want to know God more or even to feel what we have felt in our lives because of our Lord Jesus Christ right. and everything that God has done sure. for us. That's that, you know, we believe for that to come out in our lyrics and the joy we have in performing together. That's, yeah, that's you enjoy very, very important. Yeah, we want that. people to enjoy can, our music. Uh, uh, but you look like you're enjoying yourself so much. Yeah, well, we do. And I can we see really it too. Do. Uh, I just uh, want to get also the, the name Energize Productions, that's the name of, of our group here. How did you, you gotta tell us one. about that? Yeah. You can take that one. Energize Productions, that is a great name because it really talks about energizing within and if because the Word of God does that it, it can do that in music and and music can it well it's an emotional thing it really works on your emotions that's why you can listen to the radio and hear a real fast rocker and then suddenly hear a real slow song yeah. and you're you're still with it because our emotions can change very quickly and God knows the value in that and so many times back in the Old Testament, the tribe of Levi were the ones that were responsible for the cleansing of the temple. They were also responsible for the music. And so many times there are records in the, in the Old Testament that record where music was always presented before the teaching to prepare the people to receive the word. And that's one thing I think we love so much about our ministry and what we do with music is that we teach. It's, it's wonderful to sing praises and prayers to God, mm -hmm. but it's even more to teach people Absolutely. how to praise God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you live a, a real Christian life? Yeah. And we believe our music is a message of how to. This yeah. is how you love God. This is how you love your fellow Christians. What would you uh, like to see your music accomplish? Oh, we want, we want people to be able to want to know God more. Okay. No doubt about that. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful way to introduce people to God and to um, get the ones who already are there to know Him more. Mm -hmm. So you can share it with others because mm -hmm. it's not something that you keep for yourself. Absolutely. You want everyone to know about the goodness of Sometimes God. Sometimes it's a, a little bit easier for me personally to do it that way than any other way because uh, I'm a little shy probably not I should be not so shy, but if I can sing the message to others, then I can still get his. That's his, the household. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, the household. Right. Yeah. The the, the um, 
uh, organizations, uh, I mean, you're involved with uh, fellowship shipping at homes and stuff. Oh, Is there true. anything you can tell us about that? I know that you have some uh, stuff here about uh, yeah, we Bible do. groups and... Uh, we fellowship in the home. We have um, non-denominational um, Bible fellowships in the homes. We have um, several. There's uh, one in Rochester. There are two in Rochester. There's one in Fairport. There's one in um, Penfield. And, and there's one in Henrietta. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, they're all over the world, but for us, you know, um, we really enjoy the environment of the Home Bible Fellowship because it's so family oriented. And you can see from us being together and performing together, we hope that shows how close knit we are. And yeah. that's why we really love the home environment. Well, I, I can feel yeah. the love in all of you. Of course, I've known Kurt for a long time. I've mm -hmm. always uh, felt his uh, loving. Uh, spirit in him since uh, from 20 years ago almost when I knew him mm -hmm. and I could see the kind of people he, he rubs off with so <laughs> the same, same kind of loving spirit and I can see it in your song you're singing and uh, I'm, I'm really really uh, really love your your uh, group and uh, thank you so much thank for being on the show I do want to real quickly mention uh, did, did you have any if people want to know about either the any of the Bible studies you do or any or the fellowshipping groups or even to get the the, I don't know if you want to get a close up on the CD that they have. Energized Productions is the name of the CD. Is it the name of it? Energized Productions. Energized right. Productions. Right. Music and to energize the inner man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Right. And if they want to know more about mm -hmm. our music or the Bible fellowships, um, you can call. My cell number is five eight five nine seven eight zero three three five. And mm -hmm. mine is five eight five. Four five one four three five six. And Rita and Charlie, mm -hmm. my husband and I, we also coordinate a fellowship in Henrietta. Okay, and our that. number is two nine two five six eight two, and that's area code five eight five. My number is it's the three one five number five seven six three five zero zero. You're all today. Th you're three one five, right? Three one five. Oh, I yeah. am too. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> There's a few but, of us out here. Well, we we've got uh, uh, a great uh, CD here. That uh, that has a lot of songs you you did today on yep. it, I assume. All uh, originals, and All that's originals. what's really great about this uh, mm -hmm. today that you've seen. These have been originals that they've been singing. So I hope you've. Uh, uh, that is amazing in itself, everybody. I think it's one of the best uh, ones we've had on, oh, on the show. Thank so you thank so you much. very much for what you've done. And um, mm -hmm. oh, I had some other questions, but I guess we're gonna have to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Thank you very much for being on the show. Uh, is there is there any? Uh, there's no website. Did you want to talk about that well, one to get the CD? Yeah, they can also quick? contact us through. You want to handle that part? Oh, the Big Cartel. Bigcartel.com is where you can actually purchase it. Um, Sonic Bids uh, gives our bio, and uh, there's actually some song samples that you can play on there. I don't know that you can actually purchase it there, though. You can't, but you can contact us through yes. either one of those right. websites. But bigcartel.com, and you'll see a big picture of our album cover, and, and uh, I, I guess you can pay through that for that yes. through PayPal. PayPal. You mm -hmm. can just Google the name. Yep. If you Google, you can also Energize, Google Energize Productions, and it'll pop right you'll up. You'll come up with Sonic Bids. You'll come up with Django. You'll come up with um, mm -hmm. Big Cartel. Yeah, we're on there. Front oh, page. Yeah. Thank you very much for all you did today for us. It was very exciting and fun, and uh, thank you, thank you for very, very us. much, Kurt, yes. for bringing uh, your wonderful uh, family nice. here, God. Thank you for you. inviting thank us, you. really. It's Long been a okay. pleasure, Ray. Thank, thank you thank again. You. And uh, from uh, all of us here at the Music Show, myself, Ray Brazelton, and all uh, the rest of us, Mike and Suzanne, my wife, and John, and we, uh, we really want to thank you for joining us today on the music show. We'll see you soon. According to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. Speaking the truth in love may grow up unto him is the head, even Christ. Speaking the truth in love may grow up unto him in all things, which
which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplies, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of Unto him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. Speaking the truth in love may grow up. Unto him in all things, which is the head.